So the United Auto Workers strike is hitting the big three right in the wall at GM, announcing that they've lost, get this, $200 million a week since the strike started. I mean, Hillary, how long can these companies really sustain this? Yeah, this is actually going to be a lot of loss. And actually, the CEO there, GM, Mary Barry, she has said that it is unsustainable for the future if they raise the wages of employees even more. Right now, they're making an average of 84000 And we were just talking about Seth's Texas there. And there's a the recent strike that was just started two days ago is in Arlington, Texas. And that's where a lot of their most profitable vehicles are manufactured. They're suburbans and, and the Escalades. This is going to be really impactful in terms of not only the loss for the automakers, but loss for the consumers because yeah. the supply chain, the ripple effects are affecting all of the suppliers that provide all of those parts they're going through tremendous layoffs, particularly in Texas. So we're going to see the consumer affected. And the long-term time, long -term play here is that the CEO is saying, we will not do something, we will not make an agreement that is unsustainable. Yeah. And what, last but not least, the president of the UAW, uh, Sean Fain, what he said when, uh, uh, in response to the recent offer, he said, no, bring out the big wallet. We want the wallet that gives the bonuses to the yep. senior executives and to the shareholders. So it doesn't look like this is going to be solved anytime soon. Not good, Hillary. All of that is just not good. Uh, Hillary Fordwish, Seth Denson, thank you much for joining us this morning. Really, really appreciate it. Pleasure.